How's it going guys? My name is TJP and welcome back to another NBA 2K23 My NBA Rebuilding Challenge. So what we're going to be doing today is we're putting up the 2K cover athletes versus the NBA live athletes. And we're going to see which one is the better team. We're going to see which one wins the championship. Maybe they don't win the championship. Who knows? Uh, I mean, so my logic behind this was some of them are duplicates. I kind of just based it off of, okay, who had maybe more covers, maybe who was more relevant or better at the time when they got their cover. And not everybody is on the teams, so I will show you just the teams that I kind of came up with. And I know you guys have any varying opinion on it, you can let me know down in the comments below. But we're going to get on to the gameplay. Before we do, like, subscribe, comment down below some videos, social, second channel, main channel, playlist, all down below in the description if you like other content, be TJP. With that being said, let's show you the teams and get on to the gameplay. So for the 2K cover athletes, I put them on the Bulls. We've got Michael Jordan, makes a lot of sense. He's been on so many covers. We've got LeBron James, he's been on a lot of covers. Chris Paul, I put him on here as well because he was on a cover. Steph Curry was on a cover. Kevin Durant was on a couple covers, and he had his own cover as well. He was on a cover, he was on two covers, because he was on one, he was on 2K15 as his own, and then 2K13 as well. Allen Iverson was obviously on five straight covers. Also Giannis from 2K19, we got Derrick Rose from 2K13. AD was on 2016 and 2020 for his own. Lou Doncic for 2022. We got Paul George for 2017, I think it was. Blake Griffin was on 2K13 as like the, I think he was like the front guy, I think. I don't know. We got Ben Wallace. He was on the cover as well. I have the older version of Shaq from the Miami Heat days because that's when he was on the cover. We got Devin Booker, who's this year's cover. I didn't put Zion because I was like, oh, you know what? I'd rather just put um, KD. And Devin Booker has been to the finals where Zion has not. So that's why, you know. And Luka Doncic has been to the Western Conference Finals. So that's why he's on there versus not Zion. Uh, these are also like pretty much mostly their all-time versions, which is uh, pretty neat. And then we got the two K. Uh, we got the NBA Live covers. This one's a little bit interesting too, because like I said, there's some overlap. But I decided to put KG on this one. This is when he was on the Wolves. The Tim Duncan, he was on Live. Dwayne Wade was on like two Live covers, I think. So you know, we got the benefit over that. Uh, Vince Carter was on a Live cover. So was Jason Kidd. James Harden was on Live as well. His own Live cover. Not just like sharing. Same thing with Westbrook. Uh, he's had, had his own cover. Uh, Carmelo was doing the NBA Live 05, I believe. And then we had T Mac, who's on an NBA Live cover. Tony Parker was on NBA Live 09. Damian Lillard had his own Live cover. Uh, same thing with Kyrie. He had it before the 2K18 one. And the 2K18 one, I think, was when he was on the Celtics. This one was when he was on the Cavs. And I think he's better on the Cavs than he was the Celtics. Dwight Howard, this is like, I think, his finals year. That he made it onto the cover or close to it. Gilbert Arenas was on the cover as well. And Joel Embiid, same thing with him. He was on the cover of NBA Live. So, honestly, looking at the teams, let me know down in the comments below who do you think, which team looks better. I think this team, I for, I for sure would be 2K, but I kind of made this somewhat even. Like, it could be anybody's game. Uh, they're both going to be ridiculously good. So, that <laughs> that's that's pretty funny. Let's see when they first play each other because that's kind of when we'll simulate. So, we'll keep with the Bulls. we got the Spurs here. And then they don't play the Spurs again until here. And I think that might be the only time they ever play the Spurs. Yeah. So we'll start off with the Bulls, then we'll switch over to the Spurs, and then go back to the Bulls. And we'll just look at the stats at the end of the season for each team. And we just got to hope that these teams meet in the NBA Finals, right? So let's uh, simulate to this game. We're not going to simcast it. We'll just simulate through the date. See if the Wow, the Bulls already lost a game? Hold on a minute. This team's not going to go 82-0. Wow, they lost their first game. That's crazy. I also didn't look at the rotations. I probably should have done that. Uh, well, here they are, in case you guys are curious, for the Bulls. Uh, so, yeah, some of these guys obviously aren't going to be able to play. And then same thing here. If we go to the Spurs, we look at their rotation. You see this is what they've got going on. And who's not playing? Who's on the reserves? So, there you go. I'm not really going to touch the minutes. So, yeah, we got the Bulls here. And also the Spurs lost to the freaking Sixers. So they're not even undefeated already, which is kind of crazy. Uh, James Harden is doing his thing out there, both James Hardens. Uh, but yeah, wow, incredible. Maybe just too much talent. We got the Bulls, so let's stick with the Bulls here. We'll sim with SimCast. I'll uh, sim through date. And the Bulls lose this first, 108-104. So let's see who did well this game. We've got Dwight Howard, 15-10. and 10. Vince Carter, 13-3-6. and 6. Okay. And then for the... Uh, 
Bulls team. Michael Jordan led the way. Kevin Durant, who didn't have a great game. Chris Paul didn't make a shot. He wasn't amazing. Okay, interesting, interesting stuff there. So now let's go to the Spurs. We'll simulate up to when they next play the Bulls, and then we'll switch back over to the Bulls. So we'll stay on the Spurs for a while. They are currently 5-1 right now. Let's see how well they can kind of, uh, you know, stay. <laughs> so, so far they've only got one loss, and it was to the Sixers, which is really funny. Um, <laughs> yeah. So here we go. We're simulating. I'm not going to show you guys every single, like, box score or loss stat. All I really care about is the uh, NBA Live and the 2K teams. Uh, box scores when they play against each other, that's all I care about. So yeah, so far only one loss for this team, which is kind of crazy. And it wasn't even to... Oh, they lost to the freaking Magic by one point. Nice. The Orlando Magic got a W against this team. Good for them. Oh boy. 34-2 though. Looking good. I wonder how the Bulls are doing right now. We'll take a look at the, all the team stats, like I said, at the end. It should be very, very interesting. Um, also, too, I've gotten a lot of comments about my dog. I know I'm just random, randomly ranting over here, but there he is in the background trying to get some camera time. You can see him. Uh, but, yeah, a couple of people mentioned him. He's like, oh, yeah, I like your dog. Thanks. He, he's, he's enjoying himself. <laughs> okay, so we're simulating. We've got 50 wins right now so far for the – oh, that, uh, the Sixers again okay one point victory for the Sixers and then they beat the 2k cover team by two points the 2k cover team has lost six games they're 47 and 6 the Spurs aka the live athletes are 51 and 3 right now so there's the uh, box score here for the squads as you can see LeBron James kind of did his thing Curry Jordan Griffin okay uh, Durant a little bit of an off game for him and yeah, Spurs, Carmelo Anthony leading the way with 20 points, then 17 for Carter, and then we got Jason Kidd. I like it. Very nice. So we'll switch back over to the Bulls for the rest of the season. They are 47-6 and six right now. We'll simulate through and see if they can win out. Uh, they lose to the friggin' Nets. Man, they have 48-8, and, and they lost to the Cavs. 48-8. and eight. What's going on? 2K cover athletes are struggling right now. Maybe it's because they don't have as much up because I, I did I probably could have put like I could have put Larry Bird Magic Johnson because they also did share a cover but they didn't have their own cover so I kind of prioritized if you had your own cover and multiple covers you were gonna be on the team uh, which is why I put Shaq on this one but I put it to be fair though I put his Miami Heat one because he wasn't on the cover when the Orlando Magic one but this is kind of surprising that this team is 64 and 10 right now uh, really really surprising but. They are going to win 72 games, so there you go. Luka Doncic, but the Dallas, the normal Dallas Maverick, Luka Doncic was the MVP. Thank you, Rookie of the Year. Kevin Durant, 2K cover athlete, sixth man of the year. Uh, good stuff from KD, very efficient. Uh, we'll take a look at the stats. Giannis, current day Giannis, best player of the year, most approved. Uh, Alfred, and then coach of the year with Greg Popovich. So 77 5, the NBA live athletes won. Jacob Park is the coach of the year. Are we going to have any appearances for any Bulls or Spurs? And we do. LeBron James, all NBA second team. Uh, that's pretty good. And then that is all. Defensive team? We have Michael Jordan. Nice. Played good defense. So there you go. And then also LeBron James. No Spurs, though. So that's interesting in itself. But each team was the number one seed in their respective conference. So I am hoping that they could each meet because this will kind of determine which one's better, live or 2K. Uh, in some stretch of the imagination, not perfectly, but you know, you, you kind of get the idea. But yeah, you can see this, uh, the Bulls lineup, the 2K cover athletes, you can see how they played. Nearly everybody that got playing time averaged almost 10 points a game, except for Chris Paul. Uh, cause he probably didn't score enough, which is fine. Rebounding wise, you can see AD's led the way. LeBron James with assist and Curry and Jordan and, uh, Chris Paul. Almost everybody had at least a steal a game, which is absolutely in insane. That, that played, of course. And then block shots. Four guys needs to block shot a game. Most of his score was Michael Jordan. That makes sense. Uh, most of his three-point shooter was Kevin Durant. That also makes sense. Best free throw shooter, Stephen Curry. Makes sense. And that was the Bulls. Now let's take a look at the Spurs. 
So who led the way here? So KG was the leading scorer. Everybody except Westbrook. Well, also Parker and Lillard and Kyrie Irving got some PT. They played like one one minute, <laughs> probably because of foul outs. But uh, okay, so KG's the leading scorer and leading rebounder on the team, so that's pretty impressive in and itself. Also, facilitation wise, Jason Kidd nine point one assist and uh, Dwayne Wade, Harden. We had five guys lead to steal a game, three guys to lead the block shot. Field goal percentage, Dwight Howard, most efficient scorer, makes sense. Three point percentage, best three point shooter was Carmelo Anthony, okay. And then best free throw shooter was Russell Westbrook because he used to be a really good free throw shooter back in the day. So, Spurs and Bulls, that's what we're looking for. So, assume the plane, we'll go round by round here. I would assume each one will get past the first round, and they do. Spurs swept the Warriors. The Sixers got a game on the Bulls, though. So there you go, but they're, they're still here. Round number two, Bulls sweep, and so do the Spurs. So the 2K live matchup could potentially be in order. These are two tough matchups here, though. And, okay, they're here. Uh, it took them six games to get past the mighty Celtics, but they got past. So KG and LeBron, Western and Eastern Conference Finals MVPs, respectively. So let's see. This will once and for all prove who is better, 2K or live. I mean, not necessarily, but at least for the sake of this video, it will. Game one is an NBA live victory. Take a look at the box score, see who did what. Uh, T-Mac led the way with 21. Uh, 20 for D. Wade. Okay, I like that. Nice. Here's your Bulls lineup. James led the way. Then Durant, Jordan had 17. Anthony Davis with double-double. Same with Chris Paul. Uh, okay, game two. Maybe they can even it up. They don't. They lose again by 21 points. Uh, let's view the box score. And Vince Carter put up 22, 5-5. Five five. He had a good game. Duncan was solid as well, doing his thing out there. Harden was a bit off shooting-wise, but it didn't really matter. Everybody except for West Russell Westbrook averaged, or put up 10, not averaged, put up 10 points. But Westbrook was pretty close. And then Curry kind of tried to do his thing out there. 24, same with the AD. Uh, Jordan, 1 of 8. What's happening, my man? So the Spurs are up 2-0. Can the Bulls at least get a game on them? I don't even know, man. They might not get a game. They might not get a game. We're going to we're gonna sim with SimCast here because we might hop in and just watch like a little bit of gameplay. But wow, that's insane. So honestly, the live team might be way better. That's crazy. Sim with SimCast. Here we go. We'll simulate game. We might hop in for a bit, especially if the Spurs are going to clinch, which it looks like they might here. We'll uh, continue sim. We'll go medium speed, fast. And it looks like they are going to clinch with 33 seconds. We'll jump in and watch as, wow, the NBA live team literally, literally is going to sweep the 2K cover athletes. Now again, I could have made this slightly different, but you know, I, I tried my best here. But this is, I mean, listen, this team is still really good, let's be honest. I mean, this is, it, it, it's not like the live cover athletes are scrubs because they're not. And wow, that's a nice shot there from Carmelo. Number 33. As they're up by 15. I mean, I'm covering the score, but it doesn't really matter. You kind of already have the idea that the Spurs are going to win. With a, a commanding sweep. Wow, take that 2K. Dang. So let's see. He's going to just hold. They're just going to dribble it out. And we're going to have a celebration for the Spurs, and we're gonna take a look at the playoff stats, see who did what, but wow, insane video. To be honest, I thought maybe the the 2K team would, would come out on top, but surprisingly, you know, the live team ended up be looking pretty good, and again, you know, I maybe could have put other, some different players on, you know, the respective teams, but I tried to make this kind of as balanced as I could, you know, because I think in actuality, it's pretty probably would be the 2k team that has better cover athletes but then again they have more games so but it, it's it's honestly debated you know you can make a debate though you really could but i would probably say yeah like if i were to just do the just the strictly based on overall 
it would be the it would probably be the GGA team. But that doesn't guarantee that they win though, either. But either way, uh, I kind of want to see the celebration. Or can I can I watch it? Or is it not going to show it to me? Okay, there we go. I just don't want to see all that crap. I don't really care. Who's going to get the finals MVP? There's Greg Popovich. Uh, can we skip this? Or no? Okay, now Adam Silver's just saying a bunch of bull crap. Whenever they decide to lift up the trophy, I'll come back to you. Oh, no. It looks like they're going to do it now. Wait. Oh, they're going to do it now. Never mind. They're actually literally going to do it now. There we go. Lift up the trophy. Greg Popovich. There you go, buddy. And the, yeah, the NBA Live cover athletes get the victory. And is that uh, Kevin Garnett getting the finals MVP? It sure is. Finals MVP, Kevin Garnett. Uh, insane. As they complete the sweep, which is pretty ridiculous. And then somehow, someway, it goes to that as a screen. Makes a lot of sense, 2K. But then again, it is 2K. Not live. Yeah, Spurs win the championship. Oh, no, it was Tim Duncan. Wait. It, Tim Duncan was the finals MVP, but why would they show Kevin Garnett then winning the finals MVP? Doesn't make any sense. Okay. Okay, 2K. Maybe you deserve to lose. Okay, let's take a look at the playoff stats for each team. Kind of just curious to see who did what. So, uh, yeah, you can see Carter led the way in scoring. See the rebounding numbers, it was KG. Assist, it was Key Jason Kidd. Steals, Harden. Block shots, Dwight Howard. Had a, over two a game. Also was the most efficient scorer. Three-point shooting was the man that the legend that they call... Oh, Tim Duncan. Well, he barely took any. I guess T-Mac, but even then, like, Tim Duncan actually didn't miss a single three he took. So, fair play to him. Melo Anthony on free throws. So, yeah, wow. Insane. Now let's take a look at the Bulls, see what we got going on over here, how they did. Curry led the way as well as LeBron, they were kind of tied. Uh, rebounding wise, it was AD, facilitation, LeBron nearly a double-double in the playoffs. A lot of guys at least to steal a game, block shots, three three guys at least with a block shot a game. LeBron led the way there. Michael Jordan led the team in shooting percentage. Three point percentage, it was LeBron James, interestingly enough. And then free throw shooting was Stephen Curry. So you have 50-49 in the playoffs. So, I guess this answers the question. The live cover athletes, at least in this video, are better. I mean, we probably have to do the simulation 100 times, maybe. And like I said, if I did it based on, you know, best overall, it'd probably be different. But it's fine. We're not doing it that way. We did it kind of the way I did it. And... Yeah, that's how the video that's the outcome of the video so let's go to the full skin and close it out all right so hope you enjoyed the video if you did like and subscribe comment down below for my videos social second channel main channel playlist all that fun stuff you can find down below in the description if you like other content from me tjp let me know some other ideas that you have uh with that being said i head on out though take care, everybody see you soon peace